video games. I, like many people today, like video games. I'm not going to act like I'm a full-blown gamer, but I have definitely shown passion and excitement in my history of gaming. By the way, it's an honor to celebrate the month of National Video Game Day. What? July 8th? The internet told me it was this month. It's cousin? Oh, okay, so making it plural makes it totally different, like a movie title? <sighs> Alright, fine, let's just move forward and celebrate National Video Games Day. To show great passion, you need all the perfect factors, such as technique, skill, motivation, focus, and don't forget, rage without the quit. No, oh, that was the perfect job! No oh, stupid remote! <sighs> Gotta keep going. Now, before getting into the history, I've got some cosplaying to do. And yet, I'm still not the fin. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got too committed there. <laughs> I'm still not quite ready to start. I figured I'd play video games and share my history with someone who also loves video games and wanted to join me for a collaboration for a very long time. Presenting GameCube Dude. Oh man, I can't believe I'm going to be the first one to play the unreleased Mario Odyssey 2! Oh, um. Wait, where are the secret Nintendo employees? Wasn't Miyamoto supposed to be here? Yeah, um, well, first of all, okay, GameCube dude, uh, I'm a big fan. Uh, I've been a fellow YouTube comrade of yours since 2016. I loved your videos ever since. But I may have put a few misleading tweaks in that letter that you got in order to get you to collaborate with me, if that's okay. So, out of curiosity, is lying to people the normal way you get them to hang out with you? Only since Nostalgia Critic threw away all my invitations. Uh, but don't worry, dude, you'll get exactly what you came here for. Uh, until then, how about we look at my video game history? Guess I got nothing better to do. So, what was your first console? Microsoft Xbox? Nintendo IQ? Or, best case scenario, the GameCube? The answer is none of the above. My first ever console was technically a Namco plug-and-play system. Specifically this one. Nothing but the best that the old days had to offer. Like Pac-Man, Boss Cannon, and Dig Dug. Back then, we didn't know the drill, but now the patterns are much clearer. Dig Dug. Didn't know the drill. I see what you did there. But my true gaming start was with something I swear was forgotten. From the company known as VTech, they gave us the V-Smile, the educational home video game console. Alright, time for basic math, puzzles, and alphabetical topics! Please tell me we're at least playing a cool-ish game. Don't worry, I got one of my favorites. We got Spider-Man and Friends. We get Spidey teaming up with Spider-Girl and Wolverine himself. Okay, that sounds reassuring. So what are we doing? Saving the city from some not-too-scary villains or something? Nope. We're replacing letters on zoo signs, restoring power to a museum, picking up trash at the county fair, and grocery shopping for school parties. Uh, while the rhino just scooters around for some reason. I thought this was Spider-Man, not Community Service the Game. Screw this, we're skipping to the next step in the evolution. Okay, fine. Ooh, how about this? This is one small leap from an educational kiddie game to running over pedestrians in Grand Theft Auto 3 on the Xbox. In what world is that a small leap? Oh uh, yeah, I developed great memories playing this violent game with Dad. Unfortunately, we never got to Staunton Island. To make things harder, the game started getting all glitchy and scratchy due to being played a lot. Luckily, years later, I downloaded the game on my phone, and with the help of my buddy Robert, we got further than ever, seeing the glory of Staunton Island. Ah, the benefits of knowing a guy named Robert. Obviously, Mom was skeptical on the crimes committed on that game, such as, you know, Grand Theft Auto, taking lives, arson, trunking, secret boom boom. Uh, but no matter what, it was fun! It's a Nintendo time! The Nintendo DS was given to me as a travel gift, and my first two games were Wally, -E, which I never finished, and Duck Amuck, which I thought I finished, but turns out there was so much more to it, and it only took me a long time to beat Bowser's Inside Story. 
you know, I hate those game endings where you have to get the right amount of points in order to gain full approval. Like seriously? I busted my ass playing for weeks. It's not enough that I saved the day. It's the small announcements at the end that are just insulting as shit. The Wii that I got for my birthday was plenty fun, and I had a lot of fun with New Super Mario Bros. I gotta say, playing with more than two people can get really frustrating. Stop jumping on my head! I can't take that anymore! Stop it! Stop it! And my gym teacher said that Wii Fit wasn't reliable. Well, sure, it obviously won't build muscle, but I sweat my ass off on that obstacle course. Tell me that's not progress, Richard Simmons. When it came to the Wii U, I was instantly hooked on playing Mario Maker. The game was fun, but mostly when playing with someone else. You should see how me and William played. I would finish making a complex and complicated level, acting like a mad scientist, and then... It is done. Test monkey! <laughs> now play! Hey, sometimes our minds together were something of an enigma. And still are. In fact, just recently we played Mario Kart on his Nintendo Switch. Come on, come on, I'm gonna win! Oh, whoops! Oh, last second red shell! Better luck next time. Why you little- That's it, you're fired from being the best man at my wedding. Whenever that is. No! The Xbox 360 has a lot of fond memories. Most notably, Batman Arkham Asylum. I mentioned before in my Christmas presents video how jarring it was playing Arkham City at the age of 11, but Asylum was an Easter present. I was only nine years old in April of 2010, and I got the game of a lifetime. I'm currently in possession of an Xbox One and have not been obtaining anything for a while. I still enjoy the games, as this was the only way I could play Arkham Knight. I'll only occasionally bring out the old DS for some quality entertainment and sense of nostalgia. Video games are a great source of fun, should not be taken for granted, and should be handled responsibly. Unlike that one time I played Arkham Asylum all afternoon one summer day, and the time the 3DS made my eyes water while playing it in 3D mode in the dark, and the time playing GTA 4 I accidentally threw the controller at the wall. Hmm. Hey GameCube dude, what is your overall opinion on a life that includes video games? Well, video games are a source of entertainment, just like movies or TV. I just want everyone to have fun, but I also want them to play responsibly. Just like anything else, video games can become a bad habit if you don't practice self-control. So, enjoy playing your favorite games. Just don't forget to clean your room and go outside. I am definitely taking your word for it. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed my video game evolution. And with my new NES bootleg system, I will be able to play nostalgically, Dig Dug with Mom, and Donkey Kong with Dad. Anywho, play professionally, have fun, and don't do- Wait, hold on a second. Where's the thing you promised me? Oh, oh, yes, of course. Okay, here you go, GameCube dude. Uh, the first ever copy of Mario Odyssey 2. I especially wrapped it in gift wrap just for you. Well, enjoy that. Uh, and uh, don't open it until I'm out of sight. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Dude, did you really give him the first ever Super Mario Odyssey 2 copy? Uh, no, I, I just gave him something that I found in angry video game nerds garbage. <sighs> Seriously? It was the only way I could get him over. Now drive, drive, drive! <laughs> you bastard! Thanks for watching everyone, it felt nice sharing this whole history, and video games shall always be fun. I'd like to give a big thanks to GameCube Dude himself for co-starring with me in this video. He's a great gamer and YouTuber, and a really cool guy. How'd you like this project, man? Charming stuff, Preston, charming stuff. Thanks for including me, it was fun. I'm so glad you think so. Anyway everyone, take some time away from playing outside and enjoy some video games. I guess that should be the other way around, but whatever. Hm. Don't do drugs, kids.